Hello survivors, welcome back to another video. How are you today guys? Let me know in the comments. We are gonna go through a couple of things here today. First of all, to answer some common questions. And second of all, we are gonna talk about some new updates that I'm super happy with. Uh, I'm gonna end up buying all the items in the Migo store. Oh well, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna buy. I cannot buy all the items, sorry. But the point is that I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna buy and what I recommend. So if you are interested, stay tuned. But before, hit that like and subscribe button, guys, as you know. So first question is, okay, what's your chief uh, level? 50A, guys, I just upgraded to 50A today to use the stamina during the hunting the hunter event. I was 57 today. Well, now I'm 50A because I used the chief experience that I had. Now, you might ask, well, you are almost maxed out because the max level is 60. How is that possible? You are not free to play player? Well, I have been playing for almost 500 days, which is the second uh, question you always ask me. How many days have you been playing? So almost 500 days, 496. And I might be a little bit ahead here in the chief level because before I didn't know much better and I thought this was super, super important. So I spent a lot of bio caps buying chief experience and also um, I spent a lot of bio caps upgrading chief levels. So that's why I might be maybe a little bit ahead of people who have been playing the same time as me. But yeah, I'm 58 here on the chief level. Now, the third uh, question you always, you always ask me is, uh, what's your solo kills? Well, here I rank 12 in the wall state, and I'm about the 2 million troops killed. And uh, how did I get here? Well, before I was going crazy during a kill event. Now I, I'm not doing that anymore. Now I go crazy during <laughs> a state versus a state. And most of my troops killed comes from a state versus a state. Not only me attacking people, but as you could see on the videos, people attacking me like crazy, rallying me like crazy. So I'm killing tons of troops. So that's the third question you always ask me. Now, leaving that aside, uh, once I answer those questions, I'm going to talk about an update that I'm super happy with. As I told you before, this event was driving me crazy. This exploration, the secret experiment base, so underground Migo is for exploration. Seriously, every time after state versus state, it seriously made me rethink about playing this game because First of all, this, it was just 200 oxygen here. I was just filling up every like four, eight hours. So you have to be logging in two, three times a day to use the oxygen to get like a, a, as many cell samples as you can. So you could buy the, uh, the items here in the store. But now they made a big change and I find this change super positive because I know some of you were crying about the rewards. No, don't take that event away because the rewards are super nice. Yeah, that's true. But one more time, a state of survival proved that there are ways to make this game a little bit more like time friendly that you don't have to spend a lot of time here and at the same time get better rewards because now you are getting way more cell samples and you are spending less time here because before you have just to be logging in here every like four five hours so this oxygen didn't get full now it's just 600 oxygen units which takes a lot to re to recharge and um, the big auction they added here was the rate auction now instead of going one by one you have the option to rate where is that for example here you can press rate mode and you have to collect these tickets and then you can use all the oxygen you have so as long as you have the tickets first of all before doing the rate mode i want to make sure that i can send the squad for example here i cannot send the squad and I think you get way more points doing the squad. So first of all, you have to make sure to test how many cell samples you are getting because you wanna use the rate mode to the, for example, here, oof, I'm getting here 3000. So of course you wanna send your rate mode to the monster jack that you can get the most cell samples. So here I'm gonna go rate mode because it's almost ready. I'm just gonna attack. Uh, I'm gonna get 
a ton of like cell samples. Oh, yeah, cell samples here. Yeah, did I get it? Let's see. Uh, let's see. No, I was killed, guys. No, I couldn't get it. Well, guys, that's what you have to do. You have to make sure to check uh, around because if you just send the raid mode to one of these and you don't check, then you might be just missing out because if I attack another one, it might give me just like thousand cell samples or hundred cell samples, but here I could get 3000. So if I can send the raid mode there and get like, I don't know, 3000 per attack, if I do 10 attacks or 20 attacks, that's a lot of cell samples. And of course, that's a lot of cell samples to buy new materials. So let's look for another one here quick here you have the options to for example do the tough challenges i like doing these ones although i'm having troubles choosing the heroes here all the time so hunter euro okay yeah i send that and then you can get like cell samples and stuff here you can just send to rescue refugees another explorer trial i'm gonna do this okay no laying there here not including resonated yeah uh, here boom i'm gonna send her now let's see if i get another like monster where i can get a lot of okay raid mode no first of all we are gonna check that we are getting a good amount for example here we are gonna send the squat and let's see how many cell samples i get so Let's see, boom, boom. If you see that you are not getting a lot, for example, a lot of damage on the monster, what you do is just to press give up and you get your stamina back and then you try another one. So you don't use the stamina. You just have to make sure that you are getting a lot of damage and getting a lot of cell samples. So then you throw the raid mode and you get a lot of material. So here I'm doing over the 2 million damage. 2 million, yeah, or 200,000. Yeah, 1,500 is not that bad. Now you could wait until the monster is completely killed. For example, here is 65% left and then send the solo attack, not the squad, but the march and you might be able to get like more um, damage and then if you have for example here the, the raid mode and you have full oxygen then you get tons of cell samples but you have to time it properly and of course you have to make sure to do it right so if I go here I cannot go if I attack one of these then I have to try to see you just have to go around to see what gives you the most and then throw that raid mode here. I'm not even getting to the thousands or am I? Now here it's just 800, so it's not worth it. And here, let's see. So now I could just let the oxygen fill, uh, just use it later, but I'm going to sleep now. And um, I like to use it before going to bed. So tomorrow when I wake up, it acts 800 and then of course, at 600 I can throw the biggest rate mode and then get a lot of cell samples so here I think that I'm gonna get a good damage because I'm above the 200,000 2 million yeah 2 million oh that's a lot of damage here almost 3 million so let's see how much I get so I'm getting here 1800 which is more than the other one I'm gonna throw my raid mode here. Raid mode, yeah. Boom. Okay. Yeah, seven attacks. Let's go. And then you don't have to go one by one. That's it. You get all the cell samples and you are out. So you don't have to spend half, one, or even two hours doing this. Now, you just spend like five minutes figuring out which one gives you the best like uh, cell, uh, cell samples amount and then you just throw this rate mode and then you have to log in during the day or you just log in at the end of the day, play another five minutes and you are done. Before it was just logging in every time to play for like 30 minutes, one hour to empty the oxygen 
I didn't like that. So here, 13,000, that's all. I don't have more oxygen available. I use my points here, boom. Now, what am I gonna get here? Guys, it is tempting to get plasma cores, to get to plasma five. It is tempting to get legendary hero fragments, to get budgets. You get a lot of budgets through the capital, not a lot to be a max player, but a lot comparing to what you get via tactical gear designs. And uh, you get a lot of speed ups during the game for the events. You are getting a good amount of plasma cores, not a good amount to unlock T11 or to be plasma 8, but a good amount to be a strong free to play player. Um, lay a legendary hero fragment, you don't get that much. But if you play smart, as I do, you can get your heroes to a reasonable light level and be super strong. Now, the problem here is tactical gear designs. As you can see here, if I go to my, for example, backpack, how many do I have? So I only have 293 and I need a lot to upgrade not only this one, which is already 160, but all these ones. So I need 105 here, 105 here. So all my like cell samples or virus samples, those are say cell samples. I've been saying cell samples and I'm not sure anymore if those are cell samples. But well, yeah, I think there are, no, these are what? Yeah, these are cell, cell samples, no? Yeah, well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, use those tactical gear designs. 12, refresh, 12, I'm gonna do this. Now, the kicker here is you have to be careful because as you are refreshing, then the amount of uh, virus samples or this green thing that you have to spend goes like up like crazy. So you start with 500, with 100, then I guess it's 500, then I guess it's 1000. So you cannot go as crazy as you would like to but here if you collect a lot of those playing smart as well doing the monsters you can get 100 200 of these tactical gear designs which are like a crazy comparing to what you can get through the events in a month doing the all events you can you cannot even get 150 you get like what 40, 50 during state versus state, then 20, no, you cannot even get 100 tactical gear designs a month here. And with this event, you can just get almost 200 doing this. So I'm gonna refresh again. I'm gonna get 12 more. And yeah, I'm just gonna wait one minute, refresh again and get 12 more. So I'm gonna do that, of course. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it here while recording the video, otherwise it's gonna get super long. And then if we go here to the Migo store that we have, I already have 150,000 available. I don't have tactical gear designs here. They are coming later, but of course the event is still running. I will have the Migo information to buy those tactical gear designs. So here I'm gonna get my legendary hero fragments I like those and then I'm gonna get my plasma cores I'm not in a rush to get plasma cores as I said before because I already have like a, a good amount of like troops I have good stats and I'm not in a rush to to get to plasma 5 plasma 6 I set the pros and the cons before I'm still on the side of being a, a super fully max like plasma 4 and almost there so I still have research to do here for my riders and for my hunters riders especially hunters usually it'll be infantry is my max out so once I'm fi I finish those I'm gonna start upgrading my HQ so you can see here you are gonna need around what almost 2000 plasma cores Oh, yeah, almost 2,000 plasma cores to upgrade all this. So I'll be, I'm gonna be collecting those um, every day. Uh, I think that in a month, I can just get to those 2,000 if I'm doing all the events, and if after like buying all the tactical gear designs, I prioritize plasma cores. But to be honest, I'm not in a rush. Uh, and yeah, that's what I'm gonna buy on the Migo store. And yeah, so I think that uh, concludes today's video, guys. I showed you a little bit of what I bought. I answered your questions. 
and I talk about the updates. So I hope you enjoy. See you next time.